Hey folks, Peter here, back with another prep pan update video, as it were. Now if you guys saw the first one, you saw me kind of go over the basics of this pan and what I'm looking forward to seeing out of it, out of this cast iron pan, and kind of what we're going to be doing through this video series. Not seasoning it normally, baking in an oven and such. We're just doing this all on the stovetop as instructed by the pan, so we're going to follow that through. Before I get any further, I do want to point out I'm using uh, a different microphone here. Uh, the one that I had for my little clip on died and I didn't pick up a new one when I was at the store. So if the video sounds different, that's why. Let me know if you like it better. Maybe I'll just switch over to using this microphone. So I'm gonna show you guys the pan here in its current state. I've been doing veggies, like heating up some veggies. Uh, I think I've cooked one Beyond Burger in it and then I've made like a grilled cheese. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing that I would think would stick to the pan yet. We haven't gotten there yet. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the pan looks like now. So here is the pan in its current state. As you can see, it's got a nice coating sort of burning in there on the bottom. Uh, this is wiped out. This is actually smooth. Still kind of grayish everywhere else, but the cooking surface is looking pretty good. So it's coming along pretty nicely. Like I said, I still haven't uh, gotten too crazy with it. Haven't cooked eggs in it yet. Haven't done the egg test. But yeah, it's 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 getting there. It's still nice and smooth. Uh, nothing's baked in or you know gotten caked on or whatever. Looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna we got some 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 peppers here. Just gonna fire it up. I'm gonna turn up the the stove up a little bit higher than I've been doing. I feel like I've done enough medium heats where I can go up just a little bit more. And then we'll just see what we can get with, uh, with, these, with these peppers here. I think with, the, with this microphone we'll get some good sounds. So let's go ahead and move the camera over, get the pan heated up a little bit, a little bit of oil, and we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we've got the pan here heated up. So I'm using avocado oil again here, a little bit higher than medium heat. We've got the plate of peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet here and just put these in and cook them through. All right, so that was another quick one there. Peppers, cooked peppers. Uh, they didn't quite get the the char on them that I was thinking they might, but then again, I didn't turn the stove all the way up. I did get some good color, nothing stuck. Everything, again, felt very smooth in the pan. Uh, that silicone spatula definitely helps. Let's take a look at the pan here real quick. So here is the pan, uh, still very hot. Let's look at the, the rag on there. I'm actually kind of really liking the rag. I still haven't even used the, uh, the leather holder for it yet. But yeah, as you can see, it just, it, it, it's continuing to develop that color. Um, I'm not gonna touch this, obviously, because it's very hot, but I think it is coming along nicely. Now, unfortunately, my burners are just a teeny bit smaller than the edges of this pan. And if you look closely, you can definitely see where that's coming into play. If you just look like right here on the outside, there's a, a ring of lighter color. So what I try to do is I'll move the pan around a little bit to try to get those outside edges because the bottom is actually uh, flat. So there's no like raised edge or anything. Completely flat bottom there. And I think that works out really well. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'll try some, some deep frying as it were. Uh, I'll put like maybe an inch of oil in here, if even that. And then just kind of let that heat up and soak in. And I think that's really gonna help it. But that is it for this one. I will of course show you guys that when I do it. Next time on video, prep pan. I think it's working out really well. Again, still haven't baked it, haven't done any seasoning to it. 
literally just been using it, putting the oil right in it. So the bottom is obviously a different color, the outsides are a different color, the handle still is raw, of course. Nice plate of peppers, made in the prep pan. And that's all I got. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys wanna see more. Maybe you picked up a prep pan, maybe you were looking to pick one up. Uh, so hopefully this series helps, or if you're just new to cast iron, and you want maybe an alternative option to just baking a pan at 400 degrees for an hour or two several times. Like I said so far, this way is working out for me and I, I, I'm putting full trust in the method that they have said to do and it's working out so far. Again, I haven't tried eggs. That might be a couple videos out still. We will do it. I will cook some eggs in it. I do want to do the egg test. Don't worry, it's coming. Just not yet. That all being said, again, hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Subscribe, comment, whatever you guys need to do. And that's all I got. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. See you next time.